So we actually had an overview of uh, the various investigations that could be done to confirm um, a heart problem. Or let me say there's a heart disease and all that, right? So you want to actually confirm, okay? So we said that one of the rarely done stuff is actually taking a portion of the heart, like just a small portion, right? Like you biopsy. So when you biopsy, you actually send it to the lab for all these um, evaluations and all that, all right? So one of this is actually what we know as the endomyocardiac biopsy. So we'll be discussing the endomyocardiac biopsy as a histology or cardiac investigation because you're trying to like take up some portion of the heart and um, send it to the histology lab. So it's endomyocardia or myocardial biopsy, anyone you call it, okay? So you can see this is a biopsy catheter. So they put it and take a portion of the heart so that you can send it to the lab for testing. So we say that an endomyocardial biopsy is actually a medical procedure that involves removing a small portion of the heart tissue that's a myocardium, all right? And you are removing it for examination, all right? So here's what you need to know. You need to know about the purpose, why you are doing this, all right? Or probably heart conditions that might require you to do this. Then you're looking at the procedure, how it is done. You are looking at the risks and complications. Then that's all. Okay, so for the purpose, you can use it to diagnose various heart conditions such as what? Cardiomyopathy, which is a heart muscle disease. You can also use it to diagnose myocarditis, which is what? Inflammation of the heart. Okay, then you can also use it to test if you do a heart transplant and there's rejection or you want to know the reason why. Or you could use it to also what? Before a heart transplant, you want to check if the heart transplant will be accepted or not, all right? Then you can also use it to access for cardiac tumors. You can use it to access for heart failures. They can use it to what, monitor heart transplant patients for rejection, okay? The procedure, how can this be done? All right, basically, you all right, insert the myocardial biopsy catheter right into a vein. All right, just to take a portion of the heart, send it to the lab for testing. So you insertion of a catheter, a flexible tube is inserted through the vein into the neck or leg. Guiding imaging, you could do fluoroscopy or endo echocardiography what imaging. And this will guide the catheter to the right portion of the heart. Okay, then biopsy forceps. This is a small instrument. Okay, it's advanced through the catheter to collect tissue samples. The tissue remover, small pieces of the heart tissues are removed and sent for examination. Risks and complications. It can lead to things like what? Bleeding or hematoma. It could lead to infections. It could lead to what? Heart rhythm disturbances. It could lead to cardiac perforation, which is rare. Okay, it could lead to what? Tricuspid valve damage okay because you see right here um the catheter has to go down to what down through uh the valve okay it could be yeah tricuspid valve okay so you could see that this can result to a damage to the tricuspid valve all right so guys that's it about endomyocardiac biopsy or myocardial biopsy as a histological way of what trying to do a cardiac investigation see you guys